In this lesson, we're going to take a look at how you can solve exponential equations that have the same basis. Let's go ahead and take a look at the kind of problem that you might encounter here. If you have a problem like this one, you can see that the x in this problem is in the exponent on both sides of the equation, but the bases in both cases are 4. So in order for that to be true, if we want to solve for x, then to be equal, then the exponents must also be equal. Uh, therefore, quite simply, if it's already the same base, we can set both exponents equal to each other. In this case, 2x minus 3 is equal to x plus 3. And once we've done that, we have a simple linear equation. We can subtract the x on the right by moving it across the equal sign from the 2x on the left, leaving just x. And we can add the negative 3 on the left, which will make it positive when we move it across, or adding it on both sides to the 3 on the right, and x will be equal to 6. You can check any of these that you need to if you have a doubt about them uh, by just plugging them back into the original equation. For example, here I'm going to plug the 6 in where x is up here in the equation. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, back to the original equation. I'm going to put 6 in right here for x plus 3. And you'll notice when I multiply 2 times 6 and subtract 3, that will be equal to 9. And on the other side, when I add 6 plus 3, it will also equal 9. So this equation checks. Now, in the real world, most of the time, the bases are not the same, but a lot of times we can make the bases the same by t simply doing a few little adjustments to the base itself. Let's take a look at another problem here. In this problem, the bases are different. One is 4, one is 8. But the first thing I notice is that both 4 and 8 are multiples of 2. I could rewrite 4 by saying that's 2 to the second power. I can rewrite 8 by saying that's 2 to the third power. So I'm going to take advantage of that and use that to solve this problem. I'm going to simply go over here to the left and where 4 appears, I'm going to write 2 squared. So I'm replacing that 4 right there with 2 squared. Now notice it's still raised to the x minus 1 power, so I don't want to lose that. And I'm going to go ahead and put that in parentheses so I don't forget to distribute in a minute. Then I'm going to rewrite the 8, just like I did the 4. I'm going to rewrite it as 2 to the 3rd. And again, it's still raised to the 3x plus 4 power. I'm going to put that in parentheses also. And now I'm going to go ahead and apply the rule of exponents that says when I raise a power to a power, I multiply. So I'm going to distribute 2 to x and minus 1. So I get 2x minus 2. And over here, I'm going to distribute the 3 to the 3x plus 4. So that becomes 9x plus 12. Now notice what's happened. I now have the same base. They're both base 2. So I can just set the exponents equal to each other again, as I've done before, and solve this simple little linear equation that results. I'm going to move the 2x to the right and subtract it from 9x. And I'm going to go ahead and move the 12 to the left and subtract it from negative 2, making negative 14, and divide both by 7. Therefore, my x would equal negative 2. Again, I could substitute that in up at the top if I wanted to, and I would find out that both of the exponents uh, should be the same if I do that uh, by substituting in the exponents. Well, I wouldn't find the exponents are the same. I should find that I get the same answer each time uh, by doing that. One more problem here we want to look at. This one's going to be a, a little bit different because it has a fraction in it. But remember, fractions can also be written as negative exponents. So I'm going to start here by just rewriting 16 as a power of 2. 16 is 2 to the fourth power. Notice I left it for now as a fraction. And 8 is 2 to the third power. Getting very close to having them written as the same base, but not quite. To get rid of the 1 over 2 to the fourth, I simply apply the law of exponents that allows me to rewrite that fraction as a negative exponent. 2 to the negative 4 on that side, and on this side I'm going to distribute again 
3 times 2 is equal to 6x plus 6, 3 times 2 over here. Now I have the same basis. And again, I can set them equal to each other. In this case, negative 4 equals 6x plus 6. And then I'm just going to go ahead and subtract 6 from the left side, leaving negative 10 here. Divide both sides by 6 over here. X will be equal to negative 10 sixths. And I should probably go ahead and reduce that. I'm going to just leave it improper here as I reduce it. But that will reduce by 2 uh, to equal negative 5 thirds. So a lot of times we can solve exponential equations if they have the same basis simply by putting them equal to each other but even if they don't many times we can rewrite one or both of the bases in a way that whenever we do that we will have the same base and we can solve it this way if that doesn't work then we'll need other techniques including logarithms to be able to solve these uh, thank you for watching this lesson if you'd like to find more lessons I have a website at mymatheducation.com I invite you to go there also hope you'll like uh, this YouTube channel and uh, subscribe to it. Uh, also, if uh, you want more information, just go to the website and you'll find a nice organization of videos. Thanks for watching.